Hey guys, welcome guys and girls, whoever's here, welcome to another video. Today I thought I'd talk about uh, selling your art. Uh, we're going to do a small one today, because believe it or not, guess what? You can still get a lot of money for this, 40, 50 bucks, and it, it's only going to take you 10 minutes. Uh, so get a lot of these in your arsenal because uh, some people do like uh, small paintings. What we're going to do today, we're going to have, uh, I got a dark sap green. I just put black in it, right? Uh, we're going to have a la landscape down here. Uh, made that a little too dark, so I tapped a little more sap green into it. What we're going to do, we're going to have some trees here like this and bushes. Just kind of start tapping in what would be trees and uh, bushes here. Because we'll retap them because uh, it's going to kind of blend in with our sky a little. So tap in some green here. Those will all turn into trees here in a little bit. But And what we want to do is uh, bring a lighter sap green down here to our foreground here just just fill this all in we'll work uh, the ground in here in a little bit you could put a little a yellow ochre down here to change the flavor up a little bit just like that now we'll blend this all in but get that going for our sky we're just going to do a white and uh Payne's gray just kind of mix some Payne's gray and white and get that color up in the sky just get it up there and we're going to end up probably wiping it with a paper towel we want this sky to mingle a little bit with our trees so if you hit your trees don't worry just bring the sky down to them like this this is uh it's going to end up looking cool so filling your sky with that gray and white we're probably we'll pop a a uh, cloud up in there too but fill this all in don't worry about the tops of your trees we're gonna we'll redo that uh, if you want you can we could set our landscape by taking a paper towel now and kind of wipe away some of the dark color where you want your landscape to be it if you want it to be a hills coming in uh, wipe from both directions inward pulling some of the dark color away just underneath just shape your landscape like this okay and then wipe some of your uh, blend this down here with the paper towel just like that we're trying to go for a different look today like uh, it's some of this techniques called tonalism where the color mixes with the color next to it now what we want to do is take your paper towel and let's uh, wipe uh, our sky in here wipe away your sky and your uh, tree wipe down where you want the sky to come through with paper towel and then we're going to retap our trees it's it'll look cool so all right once you got that going kind of i must have hit that with my hand or something i ruined my lower section here I'll fix that. Okay, so let's grab our, uh, let's reshape our trees now since we got the sky pretty much how I think I want it to be. So we'll retap some trees in here and bushes. Just like that. It'll look cool when it's done. Uh, 
very good now we can we'll have to re-pull our ground here it's with the paper towel so now uh, now I'm going to pull a little bit underneath to create some light underneath these bushes and trees so just like that I'm going to run some titanium white underneath there now with the fan brush <clears throat> grab a fan brush and put a little bit of titanium white on it right and just hit underneath your tree line here now with some white just pull it down blend it in with that uh, green that's there we want to lighten up this background okay you can bring it forward more to really lighten that area up and you could pull some of the dark color to uh, create hills in here like that okay now you, even with your fan brush uh, lightly blend that in now just lightly blend that there you go we're going to run some water down eventually but uh Let's wipe some of let's put a little blue in our sky. Grab any kind of blue color you got and just kind of put blue up in there. Okay, we're going to wipe it down anyway. We're going to grab a uh, paper towel now and kind of wipe our gray around up in the sky here. Don't hit your trees. If you do, you just got to redo the tops. So let's uh, run a cloud up there now with some white this is a good painting to do it's really quick with some white just tap in the, what would be the top of the cloud so this is a small painting so you gotta be careful about the size of what you're doing here let's wipe that brush off and pull some of that cloud down now and then we're gonna hit it with a, a blender brush just tap tap the tops of your clouds to it'll help blend it in up there all right now with the blender brush i'm just going to use a new chip brush to do it we'll hit the bottom of our cloud here blend it into your sky here and then you can lightly hit the top of the cloud to make it go back just like that now let's uh, hit a few trees there right so just uh, retap your trees now the way you want them so the tops look fairly crisp you know just like that okay there's there's our tree line I'll show you how to lighten that up a little too let's put a few bushes down here in the front uh, Let's put one like out on its own over here. Uh, and then uh, we'll plop one, one down in this corner here, really small, okay? Just like that. Something different today. Instead of having, uh, having two of them down in the corner. Same thing, just wipe underneath your bushes to create your line like that okay uh, grab your uh, fan brush again with a little titanium white and just a little just pull a little white underneath your bushes okay you really don't need uh, this white down in here I'm just doing it to uh, show you how it changes the value of the color. The more you rub it, the greener it'll get, okay? It'll blend in with the green you got underneath, but there you go. That looks cool. 
you can lightly blend this now. When you when you finally br blend your green in, you got to blend it in. It it gives it that final look. Okay. I think we're gonna try and sneak some water down around here with uh, my palette knife. I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> I hope I don't ruin the the picture. So with a palette knife, we're gonna we'll wiggle some water down here, maybe even through here. I'll try and sneak it through here. So let's start off with just a little. Start off with a little white on the tip of your. Uh, uh, knife okay and then we're gonna bring that water from back here keep your knife straight and what we're gonna do is uh, start wiggling over to this side of the painting okay I'm just using the tip right now because we're getting into a tight spot here, so just the tip of your blade to sneak around these bushes here. Okay, and now once you get through, we're gonna widen out over here. Just take your time with this, and then you can reshape your water once you get your trail done, where the water's uh, coming down the hill. We don't know what this water is. It's it's. It's not a river, it's just uh, some water coming from somewhere. It, uh, I don't know, it just adds a lot to the painting. Breaks up the, uh, all the green in there. But there we go. We're just going to do that like that today. Now if you want, grab a chip brush, a clean one, right? And you could... Uh, Add light on these trees by just hitting it and pulling up. I hope you can see that. Uh, say there's a bush down here, you just grab it and push up on it like that. You see that? So this channel, it's about uh, creating new styles of painting, you know. Uh, this is one that I figured out with this chip brush to... Uh, get your highlight in there without actually putting color down uh, you can create cool bushes down here you can do the same thing uh, just push up on it to make these bushes more pointy like they have uh, twigs on them see just like that but on your trees uh, you can do the same thing just to get some highlight on that dark color back there very good I like that you can do it a little bit on these if you want or you can just leave them dark however you want it but that's a cool trick I figured out with these chip brushes to make your bushes uh, if you ruin the bottom just pull your bottom out again like that okay oil paints cool you can keep working it till you get it get it right you know, if you want this hill to come more down, pull some more dark out, okay? More shadow, pull some more dark out. It's fun, you know. <clears throat> this painting didn't take that long, and I like it. And somebody else is going to like it, and they're going to want to buy it. So you didn't spend a lot of time on it. You don't mind selling it for uh, 30 bucks, you know? because it didn't take you three hours to uh, make it. I'll give that one a try. I hope you liked it. And uh, I'm going to give you a front shot on it. And there you go. You can follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'll put the, my handle in the uh, description. But... I'm going to also do a video on the material I use, so if anybody's interested in trying some of these techniques, I'll, I'll put a video together of all the brushes, the paint, and the linseed oil, and then it's so easy. 
I'll get you set up with a, a kit for painting for under, I think, $40, and you can start painting with me. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll see you in the next video.